I'm Vijay Learned here from MBA 100 and here in this short but very important session we are going to discuss two erroneous questions that appeared in the AXAT 2023. This is one of the first questions. This made many of us waste our time in the examination hall for no fault of ours. So let's look at this question. I'm sure all of you have already seen it. So let's start it from here. x square minus px minus y square minus py is given to be 7p mind you x and y they are both positive integers and p is a prime number so if we rearrange this this becomes x square minus y square minus p of x plus y and that is equal to 7p all right this x square minus y square can be written as x plus y into x minus y okay minus p of x plus y equal to 7p okay so take x plus y common x plus y and this becomes x minus y minus p and this is equal to 7p now please concentrate here this x plus y is a po positive integer similarly x minus y would also be a positive integer why 7 is a positive integer, p is a positive integer. So, of course, both of them are positive integers. And look at 7p. On the left hand side, you have two positive integers. Basically, you have a product of two positive integers. So, 7p should also be a product of two positive integers. But mind you, 7 is a prime number and so is p. So, we can express 7p as product of two positive integers in only two ways. And which are those ways? When one of the numbers is 7 and the other number is p, all right. Or in another case, when one of the numbers is the entire 7p and the other number is 1, can there be any third way? I'll give you another example. Let's say there's a number 6. 6 is made of two prime numbers, 2 and 3. So 6 can be expressed as a product of two positive integers in just two ways, 2 into 3 and 6 into 1. There is no third way. So we can say that x plus y plus x minus y minus p is equal to 7p plus 1 when those two parts are 7p and 1 or 7 plus p. Isn't that? So the sum on the left hand side has got to be the 7p plus 1 or 7 plus p. Now, x plus y plus x minus y minus p, y will get cancelled. This gives you 2x minus p. Now, 2x minus p is 7p plus 1 or 7 plus p. Okay. Now, let's come here. 2x will be take p to the left hand side or to the right hand side. That becomes 8p plus 1 or 2p plus 7. Now, 2x is always an even integer. All right. 8p plus 1 is always odd. Whatever be the value of p, 8p plus 1 will always be odd. Why? Because 8p will always be even. 8p plus 1. Similarly, 2p plus 7 will always be odd. So, this is impossible. They expected us to get the minimum value of x minus y when no value of x minus y is possible. This was the first erroneous question in your AXAT 2023. Many people realized this, that there was some error in the problem. All right. But what about another question? Let's look at the other one. Yes, I'm sure many of you are surprised that, yeah, is there any problem here in this question? Please read the question carefully. And since the question was related to cricket, so I'm sure many of you tended to attempt it. But unfortunately, we got caught in the slip cordon. Okay, this is what the question says. Here you have player X, player 1 here, player 2 here, player 3 here. This was given that whatever is the distance between players 1 and 2, let that be X. The same is the distance between players 2 and 3. All right. So here, actually, if you look at this triangle, the bigger triangle, Let's say, uh, let this be x, 1, 3. Okay, I'm sure x2 is the median. Okay, and these sides are in the ratio 
3, 4 and 5, 3a, 4a and 5a. Okay, I'm sure all of you are aware of Apollonius theorem that is on the median of a triangle. Okay, so 3a whole square plus 5a whole square. Let's put that here. 3a square plus 5a square would be equal to 2 times of 4a square plus x square. Let's solve this on the left hand side. You get 9a square plus 25a square that is 34a square. And on the right hand side you get 32a square plus 2x square. This gives you 2x square is equal to 2a square and x is nothing but a. Alright. Okay. So let's put a here as well as here. So what is this length? This length is how much? This length is 2a. Now please consider the largest triangle on the screen with vertices this one, this one and this one. This side is 3a, this is 3a, this is 5a and this is 2a. 3a plus 2a is 5a and the third side is 5a. Is that possible? In any triangle, some of the two sides is always greater than the third side. So this is not possible. This is not possible. Many people have been discussing whether the answer should be only option A or option A as well as option B. But please, when this data itself is inconsistent, how can you get the answer? If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up share this video with your friends, with your enemies and please do like the channel. Okay. And do not forget to join our telegram group. We give lots of valuable information there. All right. Okay. All the best.